Hey everyone, it's Fitz with The Daily Delivery. Hope you're doing well. It's a great weekend for K-State Athletics. A little bit slower time of the year. Baseball's opening conference play at Oklahoma State. Football's progressing through spring practice at a breakneck pace. In fact, this upcoming week is the final week of spring drills. There'll be an open practice Saturday. No spring game, but you can still get a glimpse of your Wildcats next Saturday. We will have more about that at Go Power Cat. Basketball players are transferring out. Basketball players are being recruited to transfer in, and we'll see how all that progresses following all that at Go Power Cat. And yet, maybe the biggest news of last week was the fact that Athletics Director Gene Taylor received a contract extension and a sizable raise. Taylor is now employed through 2027 at a salary of $925,000. Not bad. Some of you might think that's extremely high, but it's pretty much par for the course right now for a Power 5 Athletics Director, and Gene's earned it. There's some pushback, though, from the fan base about Gene Taylor getting a big raise and an extension because football floundered at the end of last season, helmed by his choice to be the, the coach to follow Bill Snyder, Chris Kleiman. And men's basketball has floundered, and he's staying the course with Bruce Weber, and women's basketball is also struggling. Well, I have news for you. While all of those things do lie at Gene Taylor's feet, he is the boss, and thus ultimately in charge of those programs, there's a lot more to being an athletics director than wins and losses. And in those other areas, Gene Taylor is hitting it out of the park. K-State fiscally, financially, is in very good shape. In fact, most athletics departments really struggled through the pandemic to make ends meet. K-State did not because Gene Taylor was very fiscally sound and responsible before the pandemic hit, and thus the program was in really good shape. Kudos to him. Fundraising has continued to from the transition of John Curry to Gene Taylor, and the building has also continued. They're wrapping up the South End Zone project. It's going to be very impressive. And uh, then they will start probably in on the new indoor football complex, and I expect something big on that in the near future that will shake things up a little bit. They'll turn their attention to the Olympic sports, volleyball, and eventually Bramlage Coliseum, and Gene Taylor can get the money raised for all of that. This period of athletics, having stable leadership is going to be very important. And Gene Taylor will be held responsible, ultimately, for what happens in football and basketball. But he also has contract incentives to make sure that those things get corrected. So I say General Richard Myers did a good job with his contract, good job locking Gene down, I suspect. Myers is heading out the door pretty soon, but K-State Athletics will be in good hands with Gene Taylor if so.